Welcome back to the DevOps shop. In a previous DevOps shop, The Origins of DevOps, we explored the agile origins and siloed past of DevOps. In this video, we are discussing the current state of DevOps and theorizing about how it will evolve in the future. This allows us to understand and accept the reality of DevOps and intelligently prepare for any developments we may see in this field. First, we discuss the state of DevOps, including its impact, market value, and near-term growth projections. We then get into the specifics of how DevOps is actually being performed and with which tools, as we explore the results of a DevOps survey we conducted over the last two Cisco Lives in Melbourne and Amsterdam. Then we explore the future of DevOps by investigating the long-term growth projections and break down specifics of how AI, scalability, cloud strategies, observability, and other trends will shape the future of DevOps. Next, we break down five key insights for improving your organization's DevOps experience based on the results of the most recent Google slash Dora Accelerate State of DevOps report. After that, we address the elephant in the room. Will platform engineering eclipse DevOps or even make it obsolete? And finally, we emphasize how shift left and DevSecOps are crucial for longevity in the DevOps game. Over the last decade, DevOps has evolved from being a specialized trend to a huge phenomenon widely embraced across various sectors. This initiative, which was initially led by practitioners, has expanded into a colossal network comprising adopters, specialists, suppliers, and advisors. At present, DevOps is the conventional method for handling all aspects of IT, ranging from operations and software development to security. The DevOps market size has grown exponentially in recent years. According to the DevOps Global Market Report 2024, the DevOps market value is expected to increase from $10.56 billion in 2023 to $12.8 billion in 2024, with a compound annual growth rate of 21.2%. The growth during this period can be linked to a rising demand for scalability, recognition within the industry, and established best practices, along with the maturity of DevOps tools and its ecosystem, and an increased necessity for continuous integration and deployment. Recently, we conducted a survey with participants at Cisco Lives in both Melbourne and Amsterdam. The goal of the survey was to assess the level of DevOps adoption and to highlight which DevOps tools have been effective, as well as what improvements respondents would like to see down the road. Only those who work with DevOps tools for their daily tasks were polled. The first question was, how would you describe your organization's adoption of DevOps practices? The results showed that 78% find that DevOps is partially implemented, with 13% indicating their org is just getting started adopting DevOps practices, and 9% stating it has been fully implemented. The second question in the survey was, what is the biggest challenge you've encountered while implementing DevOps? As we can see, the top two challenges, both with 30% selected, are difficulty coordinating across teams and resistance to change. Following that were lack of skilled staff and limited budget, along with enormous technical debt. The next question was, what additional features or improvements would you like to see in Cisco's DevOps-related products or services? The most popular response was more training and support, with around 48%, followed by more integration with other tools chosen by 35% of the respondents. After that, we see a significant drop off into the single digits with none I'm satisfied, followed by better scalability and improved security features as improvements professionals would like to see in Cisco's DevOps related products or services. The fourth question in our survey was, are there any specific DevOps tools or strategies that have significantly improved your development processes? As we can see, Ansible was the most popular with twice as many responses. It was followed in popularity by Terraform, Python, Jenkins, GitLab, and GitHub, which all received approximately the same number of votes. Leading into the future of DevOps, the fifth and final question in our survey was, 
how do you see the role of AI in machine learning in the future of DevOps? As we can see, 52% responded it is essential and will be heavily integrated, while 43% responded it will be useful but not critical. Just 4% responded that it won't be very important at all, and absolutely no one thought it will be completely irrelevant. Let's explore the future of DevOps. The DevOps market size is poised for significant growth in the coming years projected to reach $29.79 billion by 2028, growing at a rate of 23.5%. This growth is anticipated due to a focus on developer experience, maturity of continuous integration and delivery, collaboration amongst DevOps teams, multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies, and increased emphasis on observability. Key trends in this period include the use of no-code, low-code DevOps tools, shift-right testing, adoption of site reliability engineering, event-driven architectures, and maturation of DevOps tool chains. Cloud adoption and scalability are expected to drive DevOps market growth because cloud environments offer the necessary resources and flexibility for effective implementation of CI-CD pipelines. The DevOps market is seeing a surge in popularity due to technological advancements. Companies are incorporating technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence to provide cost-effective and operationally beneficial products in the DevOps sphere. Here are five key insights for improving your organization's DevOps experience, according to the most recent Google slash Dora Accelerate State of DevOps report. Establish a healthy DevOps culture. It all begins with a strong culture. Teams characterized by inclusive, cohesive, generative cultures exhibit a remarkable 30% higher level of organizational performance. Build with users in mind. Teams that center their efforts around the user experience exhibit a remarkable 40% higher level of organizational performance. Amplify technical capabilities with quality documentation. Maintaining high-quality documentation correlates with a 25% increase in team performance compared to scenarios where documentation quality is lacking. Distribute work fairly. Findings indicate a strong correlation between increased burnout and individuals who undertake repetitive tasks. Take care to ensure underrepresented groups do not carry an unfair burden. Increase infrastructure flexibility with cloud. Teams utilizing cloud and scaling infrastructure technologies achieved a 30% higher level of organizational performance compared to those teams who did not. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Will platform engineering eclipse DevOps or even make it obsolete? The answer is a resounding no. In their most recent State of DevOps report, Platform Engineering Edition, Puppet states, DevOps is alive and well. They go on to state that DevOps and platform engineering shouldn't be thought of as being at odds because platform engineering is a proven approach for unlocking and scaling the success of the DevOps methodology. DevSecOps and Shift Left are the key to the future of DevOps. When security teams collaborate with developers on policy as code, it not only helps build trust between the teams, but also boosts confidence in the modifications being implemented. When we incorporate DevSecOps, it encourages us to handle security issues earlier in the software development lifecycle, which is often referred to as a shift-left approach. This strategy helps to lower the risks and expenses associated with fixing vulnerabilities that might only become apparent after the application is finished or already in use. More importantly, it helps prevent security breaches that could expose sensitive customer and business data, saving us from potentially massive costs and widespread consequences. In this video, we've reflected on the current state of DevOps, discussing its significant market impact and drivers, drawing insights from our DevOps survey conducted at the latest two Cisco Live events. We looked at AI's growing role in DevOps and noted prediction for the market's value to increase in both the near and long term. 
Additionally, we delved into future growth multipliers, such as developer experience, CICD maturity, and cloud strategies. We've shared valuable takeaways from the most recent Google slash Dora and Puppet State of DevOps reports, emphasizing the importance of culture, user-centric design, documentation, fair work distribution, and cloud technology for organizational performance. Addressing the concern that platform engineering might overshadow DevOps, we concluded that they complement rather than compete with each other. Lastly, we stressed the importance of early security integration with DevSecOps and the shift left approach as vital for DevOps longevity. Thank you for joining us on our journey into the state and future of DevOps. We are all building the DevOps Group Hub on the Cisco community to be our home base for learning, sharing, and growing with DevOps. We look forward to seeing you all there.